With a few notable exceptions, most manufacturers have taken their time adding orbital action to cordless reciprocating saws. Everyone wants their saw to cut quickly, so you might wonder if it's really that big of a deal. Well, is it? We ran a series of tests to find out, but before we go into the results, let's take a look at what exactly orbital action is and how it affects a reciprocating saw. The orbital action setting introduces an elliptical motion to the standard back and forth sawing on a reciprocating saw. This more aggressive action removes more material when cutting through wood. With a more aggressive cut, however, comes additional vibration. With the increased chatter, you should avoid using this mode when cutting metal or PVC. We removed the shoe in this illustration and exaggerated the effect to give you a better idea of what happens when you engage the orbital action mode. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. Some saws combat the additional vibration caused by a reciprocating saw's action through the use of a counterbalance. This takes the form of many different types of systems. Skill saw's buzzkill technology looks like this. And the Milwaukee Sawzall uses something that looks like this. When Milwaukee Tool invented the Sawzall in 1951, that tool lacked any sort of orbital action. At the time, just getting the blade to move back and forth satisfied a lot of needs as an electric version of a hacksaw. We traced orbital action back to a patent filed in 1982 by Black & Decker Incorporated for an application on a jigsaw. While not definitive, it shows the concept goes back more than 40 years. A couple of years later, another patent applied orbital action to a reciprocating saw. We have some evidence to work with aside from manufacturer claims about orbital action. But first I want to point out that we used Lennox reciprocating saw blades in our testing. Their carbide tip blades for nail embedded wood and metals all the way up to cast iron give us consistently excellent performance. When you're tired of blades that only last a few cuts, do yourself a favor and grab a pack of Lennox carbide tipped reciprocating saw blades. When testing the top reciprocating saws, we got our hands on models both with and without orbital mode. In our testing, saws with it almost always cut the fastest in wood. And keep that in mind when you're demoing wood, even if it has nails in it. Since a couple of those saws without it didn't lag too far behind, we also wanted a more apples to apples approach. After all, our goal is to find out how much orbital action really helps. We took Bosch's GSA 18V-125 cordless reciprocating saw and ran it through the same test several times with and without orbital action engaged. Using just technique and rocking the tool through the cut, the closest we got still trailed the fastest orbital action by roughly two and a half seconds. The results of more scientific testing are even more telling. We took the same saw and used a five pound weight to provide consistent downforce while cutting. Our test saw cut through pressure treated lumber embedded with five 16D nails in 31.83 seconds. Switching over to orbital action, the time was just 18.28 seconds, a drop of over 13 and a half seconds. That makes orbital action more than 40% faster on this model. So what's our conclusion? Letting the saw and the blade do the work is always the best way to go, and when you do that, orbital action has a massive advantage. Even if you try beating with technique, you'll still likely fall short and work a lot harder trying. If you have any questions for us about using orbital action on a reciprocating saw, feel free to leave those in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching. Help us out by subscribing to our channel below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.